Today, Sad and I are really excited to prepare un arista latte, which is an Italian classic. It's a pork loin cooked in milk. Let's get started. We will put just a splash of some white vinegar on it and rub it in really well on all sides. And this could be placed into the refrigerator to really uh, marinate for a while, but we're gonna prepare it just like so. We're gonna put salt, and pork always needs a good bit of salt. And we'll put salt on all sides. As you can see, we have already taken some of the fat off. And then we'll also place pepper on it, some black pepper, again on all sides. And we're gonna massage it in really well. So we have this string, this twine ready, and we're gonna tie it first this way. And again, this is really to just keep the roast into a nice round shape once you go to cut it. Cut the excess off. We'll put the other one this way. the same ends. There we go. I tie this as well. And again, cut the excess off. Now I'm going to turn it this way. And here we go. We're going to start on one end and tie them this way. There is definitely a another way more professional way to tie meat and maybe one day we can do it but this is just much much quicker right now and we're gonna go all the way down our pork loin is nicely tied up and you see how now it's gonna be a nice uniform shape we have already preheated our pan we're gonna place some butter in here as well as a bit of olive oil and then we will brown our arista on all sides really well and that will cause the meat to sear and the juices to stay in. Let's get this rosemary and we will place it right underneath the twine. And then we'll finally be able to brown the meat on all sides. And here we go. We'll place this on the stove and brown it well on all sides. Listen to that sizzle. Now, while the meat is searing, we are going to heat up the milk. So now we're gonna preheat the milk so it's not too much of a shock to the meat when we pour it in there. It is already smelling incredibly good. Turn it around and then do these sides as well. Now that all sides have been well seared, we're gonna still need to do this part right here. So I'm just gonna lift it up and place it like this. We're gonna add the aglio in camicia. It's totally optional and a few sage leaves. And now we will pour the milk, the warm milk, right in here. And we're probably gonna fill it about three-fourths of the way. This will be covered up, partially covered up, because the milk tends to wanna to boil out. We are ready to put the top on partially, leaving just a bit of an opening, and we'll place it in the oven. Today is a rainy day, and it might even snow tonight. We're able to put the pot into the oven and close the door. Now we're going to flip it and you'll do that several times during the time of cooking. You see how the milk has curdled? Totally normal. And later on we're going to be able to make a nice smooth sauce out of this. Let's cover it back up partially and place it back in. So time is up! Let's see how we are doing. Let's move this over and oh yes, 
Look at how wonderful it looks and it smells incredibly good. Let's open it up. Yeah. Oh, yes. Now I'm just gonna grab it by the strings and lift it out and place it on some aluminum foil. With our scissors, we're going to remove the string, which is no longer needed. Flip it around. Pull all these off and set them aside. And then we're gonna wrap this in the foil and allow it to rest. We have removed the garlic and the sage and the rosemary, and here it is. And now we're gonna taste it to make sure. Mm, a little bit more salt. You never wanna over salt it at first because you can't take it out. And now with this immersion blender, we're gonna cream everything up. Aristide Maiari al latte has been able to rest in here. Now we're gonna transfer it over. And we will be able to start cutting it into thin slices. We're gonna make some nice thin slices. And what's nice about cooking it in milk Usually, um, pork loin can tend to be kind of dry, but because it was cooked in the milk, it's nice and moist inside. With the help of the knife, we're gonna transfer it over here on the plate. And kind of fan it out like this, and then put our delicious sauce on. Now look at this gorgeous gravy. We're going to drizzle it right over the top and this served with a nice salad or some potatoes will be absolutely delicious now last but not least a quick drizzle of olive oil and here we have a meal fit for a king buon appetito mm -hmm.